So the game likes to do these weekly challenges, and this week the challenge is to land on Duna, which we're already familiar with because we put a satellite around Duna before, and getting to this planet would be no problem at all, but there are some stretch goals for the weekly challenge, and one of them is to land on Duna and then return the crew back to Kerbin, which I haven't made a round trip before yet, so I think this will be exciting. And we can use our trusty rusty ball launcher to get there, except we need to actually, you know, have the ball. So we we can get rid of all of this nonsense bring the ball back like this and this thing should have no problem getting to duna and back to earth but my issue though is how we're going to get this thing off of the ground on duna in the first place because uh landing didn't exactly work when we tried it with the legs and i'm thinking we can also replace the middle booster here because we're going to be in space at that point so there's really no point in having it so what we can do is just set this off to the side for now and then replace that middle booster with a bunch of these hydrogen containers containers. Maybe not that big. Just a few of these so we can keep the same profile we had before. And uh, <laughs> I kind of wonder if the small booster is going to cut it. Maybe it will. But that should be enough to get us to Duna in the first place. And then once we slap this back on there and give it some clamps like we had before, now we can snap on this trifecta of boosters that we like to have. And that should do pretty nicely. So that way we'll have a lot more control once we get into space. And if I look at the trip planner here, having a round trip from Kerbin to Duna and then back again is easily within the Delta V numbers that we have. We'll just have to be very smart about how we burn it. And the best part is, since Mars has an atmosphere as well, we can benefit from parachutes. Get one right on the top there, and then I think a few supporting ones along the edges here. That should be good for us. And I'm thinking we could use another RCS wheel down at the bottom so we can get one of those in there. It's not going to have as much fuel as the top ring, but it should be okay. And let's uh, not forget to add this little thruster back in there. That would be bad. And then the last thing that I'm thinking of is having just a few more boosters on the golf ball itself. So once we land on Duna, we'll be able to use these and just boost out of there super quickly. At least to get off the ground. Hmm, maybe these ones aren't the right size. Maybe some of these? Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then each of these get their own special nose cones because they're cool like that. And uh, why don't we strut these four together just to make sure that they don't do anything weird. It almost looks like an egg drop, which we're kind of doing. We're dropping an egg on Duna and then yeeting it over to Kerbin. And then these four will go in their own stage and that should be everything we need and then we can activate the parachutes manually so that shouldn't be an issue so let's go ahead and do this thing oh boy i think i forgot a few struts in here hopefully that's not an issue but jebediah is ready to go does one little kerman count as a crew i think it does and oh man i really need those thrusters i think oh man uh, I think I need those struts after all. Let's just, uh, slap those in really quick. So that should be a lot better for us. And it looks like it is. Just gotta make sure that this thing stays going straight up. There we go. It's just gonna do his little, uh, orbity thing like it does best. I know a lot of people like to say I should be gravity turning a lot sooner than I do, but this thing is super unstable, which doesn't give me a lot of options for that. And now these boosters are done, so we quickly disconnect and then keep going. Very nice. I love it. And is RCS in a good spot to help us with this right now? I think it might be. Uh, oh, yep. I definitely think so. Okay, now maybe we can start the gravity turn now. Uh, I have no idea which way this thing is going. I think we need to go this way. Nope, that's west. We need to go this this way, there we go. Ooh, easy does it, easy does it, easy does it. Not too much, not too much. Ooh, okay, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Point this thing back, prograde. It started switching as soon as we left atmosphere. Okay, but yep, right here is perfect. And then we can lock it so we can adjust this a little bit more. Just a little more over this way and we should be good to go. I'd like to get a line before these boosters run out. Kind of surprised at how early we get the space with this setup. All right, that's good. And then detach. All right, now what's our trajectory looking like? Yeah to be expected. So now we can save this ring of boosters for when we get to the apoapsis here, which is pretty soon actually. I think that would give us enough juice to have an exit trajectory from Kerbin's orbit. I just need this prograde uh, meter here to get closer to the horizon. Or I could just watch here for when we're getting close to apoapsis. Maybe both. Okay, now we're about at the 45 and that's good enough for me. So let's get this thing going. Just need this to be very stable right now. But I'm liking it so far. And 
and that's starting to grow very nicely. Those little pieces are gonna fall back to Kerbin, so that's okay. Let's maybe get their rocket pointed more prograde so we get better boost. That's looking very nice. And I kind of forgot to check where Duna is. It is, okay, it's over there. That's actually pretty good for us. And now that's growing and growing and growing, and that's really pushing out that way. That might be more than I want, though it is kind of working. Not really much I can do at this point until the boosters run out, all right, which they just did. So we can detach those. And now we're left to our lovely hydrogen booster in the back. And we can turn off the RCS for now. I think this is in controllable mass. All right, so Duna's on the outside of things, which means I need to go faster than Kerbin is, which means boosting once we get to Apoapsis, I believe. So let's just time warp to this point. Close enough. Now we can get ourselves lined up. And uh, it's not turning all that fast. So maybe I need to keep RCS on. That's working a lot better. Just turn this big old microphone over to where we need it to be. And now we are just about to Apoapsis. All right, that's close enough. And then once we get lined up again, we can start the burn. Okay, yeah, this thing burns pretty slowly, actually. But if we lock this here, it should push this out far enough for us to leave Kerbin's sphere of influence. It is a tiny rocket pushing a lot of mass right now, so maybe this isn't the best idea. But I want to save the big golf ball for the return trip. Just really need this thing to reach around the planet some more. There it is. We'll let the periapsis climb to 70,000 meters because that's when the edge of the atmosphere is. And then from there, we can really get a gravity sling going. Okay, so let's cut that engine. It's not exactly going the most ideal way, but we can work with this. Or, you know, maybe it is the best way because we got to be going out into Duna's a uh, ring of orbit instead of in. So maybe this is working pretty good for us. I think so anyway. But now let's warp over to Periapsis and make sure we're pointing the right way. Hello, Kerbin. Nice to see you again. And now we're coming up on Periapsis, which right now we've, I think, doubled the Apoapsis. This is much slower than I'm used to. And it looks like at this rate, we might have a intercept course with the Mun. Maybe we can get a gravity assist off of that. And now we're showing up on the bright side of Kerbin. Just as we get to periapsis. We can just keep burning here for a little bit. We're, the apoapsis is still going out, so that's a good thing. Okay, now we're starting to lose speed, and I guess we're gonna be missing the Mun after all. That's okay. But the good news is we never stopped burning, and now we are exiting Sphere of Influence. Very nice. And whoa, there's the apoapsis over there. Okay, so let's stop burning right now because that's shortening the periapsis. We're kind of burning in the opposite direction. But you know, that's fine with me. We'll still get there. It's a little strange because, oh, wow. Oh, look at what that's doing. That's so bizarre. So let's see. Duna's right there. So to intercept it, we could burn here. Keep going. So we're going to be there by the time Duna's there. What if we just change this around a little bit? That's looking good right there. And we need to bring this better. Ooh, there it is. Very nice. I'm thinking if we slow down as much as possible going through here, then we'll have a much better time getting captured by Duna. Going right through there. Yeah, I like this. Make sure this little guy is pointed mission grade. And that's a long burn time too. My goodness. Gonna have to be on top of the separation here. But now we are burning. Gonna go at a very nice steady pace. And now we're slowly getting to the point where we have to detach. That's done. So we detach and then we burn some more. Goodbye part that was slowing down my progress here and that's burning so much faster and we're making a lot more progress towards getting to that point we also did lose half of the rcs rings but that should be okay we're still able to keep this under control he's just really putting in the work now just make sure we're landing like smack dab center of the planet okay burn take two underway a much quicker burn it was a very minor adjustment oh, i also forgot to point mission grade whoopsies and wow that's a massive slingshot right there but what we want is a full-on collision and then i'll know we did it once this blue line back here disappears just gonna open to full for a very little bit and whoa Oh, I think we just passed it. We're getting very, very close. So much so it is throwing off our other orbit. Okay, I'm liking that direction right there. So you just stay like that. And then I'll watch Duna over here to make sure everything goes good. Turn on the throttle just a little bit. And whoa, what's going on? You should be going. Oh, there it is. Yes, excellent. We're going straight to Duna. I kind of wonder if we better, instead of going straight on, to wrap around more of the planet's atmosphere so we have more time to slow down. Can I manage that? Oh, oh, okay. Maybe just one more. Ooh, oh, too much. Something weird is going on there thanks to the RCS. Okay, just stop. That is looking really good right now, actually. That's exactly like the shallow angle I wanted. Thank you, RCS, for being weird. And now there's really nothing more for us to do except to warp to 
the point where both of these things will intersect. Oh, don't need to wait around to get there. And then we enter atmosphere right here. Very nice. And would you look at that? Now we're close enough to see it. And we're still going on a very shallow approach angle, which is ideal for me. They didn't really add atmosphere resistance yet, so this should be a good idea for us. We can kind of just ride the wave. And now what I want to do is point this thing retrograde so that once we do get an atmosphere, we can start to slow down, which should really assist with the parachutes. And you know what? Maybe I'll just add one more stage so I can throw that main parachute in there and have that be the only one that activates instead of manually trying to do it. I feel like that'd be real finicky. All right, alignment is good right there. So now we can just watch this get closer. And why is that doing a thing now? Where did you come from? All right, then I guess if you go too fast, it thinks you're going to leave the system. But then when you go back to real time, it's like, oh yeah, right, you're coming here. Okay, and now we're within Duna's. Oh man, we're speeding up so much. Right about there. And I really don't know how much time I'm going to need to slow down. Plus, we're going to be speeding up anyway, going the whole way. So maybe just a little burn here or there could really help with that. Not too sure how much we're going to need. I'm just burning and whoa some weird is happening with the plant there that was unusual so now on the approach to duna i want to have our rocket pointing retrograde so we can use it to start to slow down just pointed right around like this is looking good and it's so crazy how the rcs boosters affect the trajectory that much no worries though a very quick burn that can happen at any time and we're done <laughs> not gonna lie a thousand meters might still be a little too fast so why don't we just burn a little more drop that down to 500 okay 550 i'm okay with this so we can start to get a little closer it is going to speed up again but as long as we maintain speed properly not letting it get too fast whoa okay starting to speed up again so let's burn to keep our speed under control okay and then warp a little more this has got to be like the most careful direct descent towards a planet ever dude it doesn't have that much atmosphere so i gotta be careful how fast i'm going i need to give the parachutes all the help i can to deploy and that's pretty good right there so let's keep going and whoa, okay man oh man this is is so careful right now and also these hydrogen thrusters don't maintain their effectiveness once we're inside atmosphere okay now we're going a thousand a second that's a little fast won't lie i'm kind of wondering how well we're gonna make it back to duna but if we can touch down and then leave i think that's okay okay that's a pretty good speed right there let's go a little faster i really gotta watch the acceleration because we're getting severely pulled by the planet right now okie dokie keeping a very careful eye on our speed we're within 100 kilometers of the planet now i'm starting to wonder if that initial plan of wrapping around the planet would have been better than this but we're kind of committed now and i think i see that atmosphere meter starting to go down or maybe i'm just seeing things let's go a little more down okay now it's starting to go down so maybe now's the time to deploy the chutes uh sure okay let's see if they take off anytime soon we're now at the blue we're now at the dark blue layer of the atmosphere not really sure at which point they'll start to deploy but we'll just have to help them out with the main thruster okay just got to keep an eye on things and okay now we've got surface uh measurements going oh yep we're really in the atmosphere now okay there's a small chutes deployed where's the big one i would very much like the big chute to deploy oh man six thousand meters to the surface i'm slowing down as much as i can just please big chute please deploy okay there you are there you are come on just puff out puff out puff out okay there it is yeah. oh. okay now the atmosphere meter is going down so i want this to drop even lower than 500 just so we can keep ahead of it okay now we're in the dark blue layer of the atmosphere so let's deploy the chutes right now and 300 i think is a good starter speed for this i want to save as much fuel as i can but i also want to help the parachutes deploy properly there we go just keeping an eye on the 300 meter so i can keep a low burn going that way i don't have to micromanage as much there we go that's looking good as tempting as it is to use these four thrusters around here i need those to escape the planet okay there's a chutes deploying there but where's the big one and the good news is those are helping uh control our speed so we can dial back on this until the big guy deploys which i hope is soon we're about 5,000 meters from the surface okay i'm gonna need to kick this thing open i don't like this i just really need those things to puff out please do it please do it there it is there it is slowing down slowing down slowing down slowing down okay now we're going less than 200 meters so we can dial back on the thruster right now. And actually, if I just crank this open just a little bit, we can maintain a 200 speed going down. And now we're looking at surface numbers right now. Ooh, there's a the little shoes deployed. 
Okay, very good. Jebediah is looking pretty happy. At least somebody's confident about this. I don't know. Like, our speed is still going down very quickly, and the big shoot hasn't even deployed yet. Like, what are you waiting for? We're less than 6,000 meters from the surface. I kind of want to open this throttle up more. The big shoot needs to go out. Okay, I'm doing it. Cranking it open. There's the big shoot. Okay, gotta slow down so much more. 2,000 meters from the planet. I can tell where we're gonna crash right there. No, we're not gonna crash. We're gonna land this. Going less than 100 meters right now. Why aren't the chutes deploying fully? You guys are right now. Success of my thruster. Yes. Oh, there, there, deployed. Oh, okay. I'm feeling so much safer about this. But maybe just a little more throttle so we can drop the speed down to, I don't know, 10 to make myself feel better. And... Oh. Okay, this is looking very good right now. Jebediah, you made it to Duna. Ah, whoa. <laughs> we lost the ball on that one. And now the, these thrusters are right here. Can I activate them from here? Okay, I totally can activate them. Um, hey, Jebediah, you might need a little bit of space for this one. And I need a lot of space. Run for your life. Ooh, and you hear those footsteps too? Maybe he can get farther by kicking on the jetpack. Ooh, he's got hops. And just get really far away from this Jebediah. And whoa. Okay, this is a pretty good distance. Oh, I guess he can activate them from here. He's gonna need to be right next to him in the command pod. Well, guys, we can't make it back to Kerbin at this point. But what we can do is give these thrusters one last send off by just activating them all at the same time. So at least Jebediah gets a nice little fire show going on. So thank you guys very much for watching. Even though we couldn't get back to Kerbin, that is still challenge complete. So I think Jebediah is just gonna chill here in the midst of these four thrusters. Oh man. So thank you guys very much for watching and sub to intern. Oh, there they go. They're kicking off. Uh, Jebediah stranded on a planet yet again. Classic Jebediah. Sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple 1, Ancient Elixir 1, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.